think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass smokers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be tapping. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get No lie to be real Small business, I don't sell drugs To be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat malls That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking All right, so DSG It's been a while since we watched The Desirable Truth Now Yo, LeChain, I, I didn't say watching Meat, bro, his video is literally right there, it's Meat Canyon, bro. I was about to say we didn't watch Meat Canyon in a while, so we was about to watch it, but no, we're going to watch this down here because, God, those two girls right there, they look about bad as hell, you know what I'm But we want to see, but, but, but like I said, plus he's always made good videos, so let's see what the desirable truth is talking about in this video, the bitter reality of modern dating in 2024 in Miami, Florida. Let's see what we got going on right here. Huh. What's the worst thing a man can do during sex? Okay, so never mind. They definitely not near as bad as what I thought. Okay. I thought these was going to be some bad joints. Yeah, all right. But they, they hey, bro, that's what it is. They can still get thrashed. Don't get it twisted. But yeah, this, this ain't this ain't what I thought it was going to be. But but yeah, they can, they can, hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look, bro. They ain't, they ain't really too much that can't get taken down. If you feel me. If you feel what I'm saying. The worst? I don't know. I've never had sex. Neither have I. Now you want to sit down and grit your ain't no lying. You guys aren't virgins. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we are. Ain't no way. Yeah. What get <laughs> If I had to pick, I'm definitely going with this joint right there. Why haven't you done it yet? We're very religious. We're saving ourselves. For marriage? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No. I ain't gonna lie, I do not like their demeanor at all. I would have left. I would have been like, can y'all go somewhere else? Like, the way they talking, especially her, yeah. Be honest with me. When you come out to the clubs in Miami especially, and you dress how you dress, do you think... I dress how I dress! Yes. Yeah, see, yeah, she would have been gone immediately. They would have, I would have, I would have walked away. That's why I can't be in an interview. What does that mean? I'm saying well, exactly implying, how you are right now. Which means implying what? Well, let you me finish the question. You are. Okay. I would just like you to express details on what you said. What details are you interested in? You said dress how you dress. Yeah. Please. When dressing how you're dressing right now. What do you You think? have your belly out and you're wearing tight clothing. My belly out with and you're showing clothing. cleavage. Yeah. With Cle and then you got. You got this dress all the way up there to where you, you know, eh, you know what's about to show. Cleavage. She's dressing a little more conservative, but you, nah, come on. Okay. Do you not have your cleavage out? These are. <laughs> yes, it's a yes or no question. You can't even answer it because you know he right. Attached to my body. So of course. That she has. Breasts. That I have. Exactly. Of course, but you can help what you wear though. Do you need some? Exactly. Money? Remember, dress how you wanna be a dress. Who? facts and she didn't. but i'm not gonna lie though let's get this very clear what she's what she's wearing is not like unclassy or anything it's not classless i mean i'm not even gonna sit there and fake this bro like i could see a girl wearing this you know what i'm saying out in public and stuff like that and not think that she's dressing like a hoe or anything so let's get that very clear and especially her she is this is a very normal outfit it's, this girl right here especially this is a this is a very normal outfit I don't see anything wrong with this at all. She's dressing a little provocative, but at the same time, this ain't the worst. Okay, so finish your question. So my question is. Finish your question. Yep, the outer definitely got her up out of there. Do you think that when a man looks at. Nah, facts though. Old Trans think Josie said this girl in the blue looks very nice. She does. She looks mean and she ugly. But her, I like her. She seems like she she seems like she would be nice. You, he's thinking this is somebody who I want to make my wife one day. Or is this just a girl who I could probably have fun with? I never and plus, it looks like she got some ass back then. We ain't even gonna sit there and fake that. Here's Put my an answer. And think about what men. I think. have never gone to the club. I ain't got to think about what men think. So why are you dressing like that? Come on, like that. My wife one day. Or is this just a girl who I could probably have fun with? Here's, I never put my answer and think about what men. I think. have never gone to the club to meet a man. I go to dance with my friends. Uh -huh. I 
thank God I don't go to the clubs anymore because this is exactly why you, this is exactly the, what, what I told y'all these bitches be doing nowadays. They go there to make Instagram videos. That's it. So they can show off to everybody that they went to the club. Thank God. I told y'all back in the day, the whole purpose of going out to the club was to meet people so you can dance and stuff like that. Enjoy yourselves. Now it's, if we didn't enjoy ourselves unless we showed people that we enjoyed ourselves. If they didn't take enough Instagram videos, they didn't even enjoy their night. I don't want to find my husband as, at the club. And don't get it twisted. That's people in general. That's not just women. Just when as much I, as a man doesn't want to find his wife at the club. So it's not to seek va validation at all? She th If she won't turn around so I can see that. From a man? When no. I get dressed, I never think about what a man wants. I she is, oh my God, she is definitely a feminist. We already know that. I hate her. I genuinely hate this girl right here. Can Like, I want to skip past this part. How, how long was, okay, he, we ain't got that much. Think about how I feel. The man's opinion is okay. never oh, there we something. Go. We have to go it's it. never. Shut your ugly ass up with your big ass motherfucking gums. Do you... Something that's validating ever. <laughs> ever? Shut your ugly ass up. Have a good night. What do you look for? Long face ass bitch. A man. Oh my God. I'm not going to lie, bro. Now, look. Now, he better mention the way she dressing, especially. You know what I'm saying? Now, this right here is provocative. These are dressed like hoes. I'm not going to lie. Her is a girl. She a girl that I'm that I'm going to look at her and think that she's selling it straight up. Now, I'm 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 thinking her first response is going to be something about some money. Paper. What the fuck I tell y'all? What the fuck I tell y'all? What the fuck I tell y'all? What the fuck I tell y'all, bro? I told y'all. What the hell? Stop playing with me, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. I be knowing what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. And Lord knows she's selling it. And I know she's selling it, nigga. I know it. I told y'all niggas, bro. Stop playing. I could look at her and tell off the rip, nigga. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> Come on, man. No. These are prostitutes. At 24, why are you so interested in a man's money? I mean, he has to be like... You know, taking care of me. See, that's why I told y'all, bro. It's only online that it's only the internet that makes me like be, be a misogynist straight up. Cause like I never encounter women like this in real life. I never even see these types of situations. It's always only online that I see it. But granted, I don't live in Miami, I don't live in Texas, I don't live in Arizona, I don't live in any of these places. But damn, bro, it's online. Like y'all bitches make me hate y'all online. Of course. So being that you both live in LA, how much would you expect him to make? Um, at least enough to take care of me. <laughs> well, you don't even know Where's the number because you, you know why she don't know the number because she never had a man take care of her. Bro, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Bitches that even be saying shit like that, they say that because they so used to fucking broke niggas that and they've never had a man take care of them. She don't even know how to put a number on it because she's never had a man that had enough money to do that. You know how many girls have like say for instance. There's girls out there that have dated men of, of status that has that has a high financial status and everything, and they know exactly the number. They could be like, okay, yeah, I'd say about 160000 a year, you know what I'm saying, to live comfortably. I'd say about two, three hundred, dollars 400000 because they're used to it. She can't even put a number on it because she don't know. She ain't never had it herself, and she ain't never had a nigga do it. Ninja Gundam thinking for the 13 months. Nigga said, there's one thing a saying always keeps his pride. You know it, my nigga. Thank you, bro. So dollar figure wise, what does that look like to you? You live in LA. You the can't even put a number on it. You live in LA. Girl on the right is a whole Nintendo 60 ho. She definitely selling it. Kind of pricey. <laughs> so let's say I was your man, and I was taking care of you. What would you do for me if I'm paying for everything? What the fuck? Um, sit at home, cook, clean. Yeah. See. A nigga like me, I want my girl to be at home cooking, cleaning, taking care of the household and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of our kids. But at the end of the day, I don't look for girls who say shit like this. Every time I see a girl saying that, I already know, yeah, I'm checking out. Even though I want my girl to be at home taking care of the household. Nah. If I see you saying this, that's it. It's a wrap. <laughs> Nothing to offer. That's, that's, that's. And, and, and you wonder why you out here dressed like this and not having a man. It's all I'd get in return. What else do you want? Support in my business or. Thank, thank God that she's the one just being quiet right now. 
Yo, shout out my nigga Brick Pickle with the raid. DSGW raid in the chat. My motherfucking nigga Brick Pickle, thank you so much, bro. Appreciate you as always, bro. W raid, DSG. Yeah. Helping me grow. Of course. Number one. He had to tell you to help him grow. What? Do you not realize how many women don't even know that? Like, seriously. Ladies, you know how easy it is to date a nigga like me? It's just, this is where all y'all bitches fail. Retweet a video. Share a video of mine. Literally that simple. If I see that you shared one of my videos on your stories, that showed that you supported me. If I, showed, if I see that you retweeted a video, it's really that simple. That's how you show that you support a nigga, that you want to see me actually prosper. Boom. Right there, that's it. I'll take care of you. That's, how, that's really, because that right there helps me make money. That's all you got to do. But y'all bitches so caught up on, I'm going to clean and suck dick, that you don't even retweet a nigga video. That's it. That's literally all you got to do. You retweet a nigga video, I'm like, yo, bro, hold on. What, what bill you need paid? That really be how easy it is, bro. Cheerleader. Thank you. My nigga An Angelus Prime said, uh, Andrelius Prime said, and that's too much effort for them. Exactly. Bro, my ex did that. I fucking hate that bitch. Bro, it, like, sorry, because she was on the stream. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I, I love you. But at the same time, I hated what you put me through. The fact that she was, uh, I, I don't know. I just don't, want, I just don't want my whole page to just be your videos. But my whole house is, is yours. And you ain't paying a single bill in here. You ain't even got to work or anything. But I got the nerve to say, I don't want my whole page to just be. I hate that. Yeah. yeah. What's the most a man should spend on a first date? Well, I feel like there should be like a minimum, but not a most. Because like, if you want to go, you know, beyond, that's. What's That's the minimum? on you, but like a minimum. I feel like if I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna use all my products to come out with you, I need like a minimum of two hundred dollars. A minimum. See, that's why I can't. I can't deal with them, these women that get their ideas from online. I know she heard that online before. She, I know she heard that online. Even her friend is looking like, damn. Here we go. Yep, she done started it. Even her friend is looking. Look at the way she's looking at the camera. She's like, shit. That's like being nice. Look at her eyes. Even look at look at her eyes. She like, oh man, now I gotta put a number on mine. What the fuck? And what does a man get in return? But but I'm not gonna hold y'all. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm the, like, bruh, I don't mind spending two hundred on a date as long as I went out on a date and enjoyed myself. So let's get that very clear. That's why I try to tell y'all, don't listen to these bitches. Yo, if you going if you wanna go out on a date with a girl, you need to take her a place that you feel like you wanna go and you want a girl to accompany you. So you don't ever feel like, damn, this was a waste. For that. My presence. Mr. Straight to the back said 200 is not normal. It all depends on what date you're going on. Try to tell y'all, bro. What am I bringing? My presence. But aren't you having his presence within you already? I had to know. I mean. Like, I love women, but I hate you bitches. Oh, my fucking God. It was so fucking stupid. It don't make sense. And it's only you bitches online. Because y'all don't be like this in real life. Y'all don't be so fucking, y'all don't be so fucking stupid. I hear you, but no. <laughs> no. I mean, like, I'm here oh, to get different? to know you. I'm here to get to know you. You invite. Thank you. Yo, Valerie said if a girl charges you money to go on a date, then she's practically an escort. Thank you. Invited me out. But he has to drop two hundred dollars. Yeah, because minimum. That, yeah, because just, you just because me out. just because you have to do your makeup. Um, because I have to. Yeah, and, and and look at her right now, outside single, no date. Thank you. Okay. Look at her. She can't even answer you. That's how you know she knows she. This nigga over there, like, look at look at his face. He, so we're gonna do the math. My moisturizer is four hundred dollars. My eye cream is three hundred dollars. My okay, my moisturizer. No, my serum alone is two hundred fifty. My moisturizer about thirty five. No, about thirty seven. You feel me? My moisturizer about thirty seven. You know what I'm saying? My little my uh, my sugar scrub. What, what what what's that? About 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 seven dollars or something like that? About about six seven dollars. Um, my outfit. We ain't even gonna get into my outfit, whatever I'm gonna be wearing when I'm out there with you. You feel what I'm saying? Let's talk about that. All Serum that I is like another three hundred dollars. My makeup, you know, not included. So if I have to, spend that's why I go on dates with bitches that are my natural. My wealth was my whole life of hard work and determination. Oh, thank you, thank you. They don't want, they don't bother to think about that part though, man. And you know, that's my money. I'm spending my money on these products. I'm going to use these. Thank you, Pop Belly Nelly said. But we, as men, ain't ask you to put all of that on. 
<laughs> that's what that's what women think they need. Facts, bro. You know how I many girls I know that, that they just have natural skin and they look they look good naturally. That's it. They ain't got to do all of that extra shit. They gonna put on a moisturizer serum and all the other shit. But I'm talking about all of that makeup and everything. These products. Were you using that? Thank you. Beat LA said you were gonna put that on anyways. Thank you. Don't she got it on right now? Who paid for it? She got all of that shit on right now. Both of them. Look at them. Both of them got it all on right now. Who paid for it? Uh, for though. For myself. Okay. But I'm gonna use these products and I'm gonna show up because it's not like I'm gonna show up in sweats. Who man doesn't know you? But, but who's paying you? Who's paying you to be out here like this right now? Do anything if you're just getting to know each other. If you're inviting me out, you owe me a date. How about you just? That's why I love that I don't deal with bitches that be this stupid. Come over and drink wine and let's watch Netflix. Um, Yo, fellas, all the fellas in here, make sure you deal with women that are humble enough to not ever be like this. I'm not your friend. And don't and and don't end up in any situation like this. I'm not. No, like that's we don't not have to put a label on it. No, I mean if you're inviting me out, I don't know you. I'm not coming over. You're taking me out. We're going to meet. This is. I ain't gonna hold you. This is exactly the reason why I stopped watching content like this. This. I ain't gonna lie. This is turning me to a full blown misogynist right now. Like, bro, this is really making me borderline wanting to say. Like how, how bad I hate these bitches and I don't. I only hate these bitches that are on here. Each other, we're going to get to know each other and if I want to come over another time, that's different. McDonald's at best. If you take me to McDonald's, I'm leaving. <laughs> What's your age? I'm 19. How long you been with your boyfriend? A year, almost two years. Okay. You see going forever with him? I hope so. <laughs> so if he gave you a guilt-free pass. She definitely don't look like no 19 year old, her face. Yes to have fun with anybody, would you take it? No. No. Why not? Because I think a relationship is more than a Okay, with these shorts being as high as they are, I hope she ain't even got it close to her ass cheeks out when you got a whole man. A guilt-free pass. Like, even if, even if he gave me one, I wouldn't just go out partying with my friends. My friends aren't like that either. They she say she's 19. She at least look about, about 24, 25. Wouldn't let me. Do you think he would take it if you gave him one? Um, Leave about 30. I hope not. Realistically. Realistically. She damn, she don't look nothing like no 19 year old. I don't think so, but we live in Miami and these girls are all, you know. You don't think you, I don't mean, peep nobody in the room. But we live in Miami and guilt free pass. Like, even if. That nigga said, God damn. Even if he gave. Realistically, I don't think so, but we live in Miami and these girls are all, you know. You don't think sluts, sluts. You add up to it. What? You don't think you comp You don't think you add up to the girls? Oh no, no. I just mean the girls are like what up, Paul? something I can't say on TikTok because you'll get reported. I don't think so. They're all sluts here. Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole thing. She is sluts, isn't she? Only like, bro. She don't look her age, but really a bad word though. Okay. Game. Okay. Yeah. Got her on speed dial right now. Probably, because he, he realized she's 19. But in your mind, like, why do you think there are a lot of sluts in Miami? Because there's a lot of girls trying to compete, and a lot of girls think that the only way to get a boyfriend is to, like, sell their body out. Didn't I tell y'all? How many times I tell y'all, Miami will humble a bitch. Miami will humble any girl, because they go there and be like, damn, bro, hold up. God damn, my nigga King Nato's just hit the 75,000 bits, bro. Thank you, my nigga. Thank you so much, bro. W's in the chat for my nigga King Nato. Just hitting the 75,000 bits, bro. Thank you. But yeah, I try to tell y'all, bro. Look, man. You go... Hold on. East Blue Cruise and my, Miami is such an L. No, it's not. Miami is a big W. What? You go to Miami, you gonna be like, God damn... Nigga, it's bad bitches literally everywhere. You gonna be like, yo, I've never seen this many beautiful women in my life. That's why Miami humbles girls. Girls go there, they realize, damn, I gotta actually compete for the niggas. It's too many bad girls. They're going to go for all of these before they come for me. But that's prostitution. Oh, well, not like that either. Not, not prostitution, but like to dress a sort of way to get a guy's attention. Like it's on the inside. But. And you don't feel like you compete with other women or women to get your man? Not really. I mean, if he wants to go at another girl, go at it. Like that's your decision, not mine. So why do you think your man chose you? She must have her ass out. Because these jeans high as hell. That's the second nigga that done screamed. First nigga said, God damn, this nigga said, Woo! She must have that ass out. Because I was the only girl that made it hard for him. <laughs> Give me an example. He was trying to get at me for a couple months, and then every other girl just gave it up to him super easily. <laughs> but when you guys finally got together, did you do it quick? No. How long did you make him wait? 
about like four or five months. Shit. And it, so you. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> a bitch can't make me wait four to five weeks. And in Miami, you can't make me wait four to five days. It's Miami. Didn't I rise? I'm hitting something the next day. She really think that she made him wait though? Did she even hear what she said? All these other girls gave it up. Do you not realize how many girls he was hitting? How many girls he was hitting in that meantime? Four to five months? That nigga was knocking down everything. Y'all went on dates yes. consistently and you didn't smash for five months? No, I did not. What's your age? 26 on the, uh, February. She looked younger than the last girl. Damn. Now, she told me she was 19. I'd have believed her. You need some money. I'd have believed her over the last girl. Damn. Orlando a few years ago, I saw tons of girls that would make Toto from Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen Gogyard. Bro, Florida, I'm not going to lie, bro. Florida is where it's at, bro. Those girls be bad as hell, bro. Yes, my little baby. Huh? I thought you just came down. I thought you was coming down just to say hi. I was about to say, little girl, you going to interrupt me? Just say hi, right, my little beautiful baby. It's only 8.30. You can chill upstairs if you want. Dessert, yes. Hold on. How much ice cream did you have earlier? Not too much. All right. I was about to say you had those and Pocky. A little bit of those Pocky steaks. You ain't about to eat snacks and stuff all day. You're not going to get fat, all right? I don't play that fat stuff. Yeah, you can get a dessert. Yeah, let's go. So I'm 25 right now. <laughs> okay. Um, are she definitely her and that other girl? If they would, if they would have swapped ages, I'd have believed it. You, <laughs> thanks for thanks for saying that. No are you single? I am single. Why do you think that is? I ain't gonna hold y'all. She seemed like the, uh, a nice girl to be around. Like, bruh, see, ladies, if you come, yo, uh, sec, yo, I think your name is sec, scurvis, yo, yo, yeah, yeah, I'm in Fredericksburg. Wow, what's up, bro? But, um, yo, she seemed like a nice girl to be around. This is one of those girls that I had you talking to her, and then you just be like, damn, you could talk to her forever because she's so nice. Um, because I wanted... Oh, Scarface? That's the name? Scarface? I bet. <laughs> yeah. How long, though? Um, I have a couple of boyfriends. You have a couple... Okay, well, there it is. Right there. She's too nice. Okay. She a little too nice. Give me some BBWs. Nigga, I don't, nigga, come on, bro. I don't even be going out around here. Couple of boyfriends right now. I hope they're not watching. Maybe like four or five. So I guess I'm single. I am single. Yeah. Typical Miami whore. All right. I mean, but what's it like dating five people at the same time? It's just like I'm like Deborah Cox, because how we even get here? Ah! I'm trying to go clubbing in Miami next year. Any advice? Go with people who know people, straight up. If you want to have complete success, go with people who know people, go with people who got money, go with people that can get you access inside of these places, straight up. I'm not going to lie, bro. That's going to get you the most bitches. If Because I know that's what you're going there for. That's going to get you the most. If you go there with people that have um, that have um, access to places, say, for instance, when we went over there, bro, it was so easy for us to get in places, bro. That that right there helped out the yachts, all of the other shit. Where's the N word? You know Casual lumb boy, man. They get through for the 18 months. They say your boy is out the Marines after 10 years. Congrats, bro. Congrats on your life now. Getting your life back, bro. Congrats, bro. For real. But yeah, you go out there, you go out there to Miami. You gotta go out there and um and thank you for your service, though, casual lumb boy. But yeah, you go out there to Miami, you go with some well-known people, go with people who got money. Don't go out there with no broke niggas, bro. You gotta understand, you're gonna be competing with high status niggas. And all the other shit for these girls, bro. Don't go out there with no niggas who don't have game. Don't go out there with no niggas who don't have no money. Shit like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You go enjoy yourself out there, though. I'll tell you that. And go out there more so for the, to do shit. Because I promise you, if you go out there just looking for girls, you might be disappointed if you don't end up getting some. So go out there more so to enjoy yourself. You have to be talented. Are you sleeping with all five of them? Some of them. Not all of them. Depends on the situation. Why not all? What's the I really thought she was just a nice girl, bro. And hey, look at this, man. This girl's a whore. The deciding factor between... But that's... Look, I be trying to tell y'all hoes be the most fun, bro. Hoes be the most fun. And Miami is, fo is flooded with them. And whether you give it up or not. Well, Yo, what up, Icy? Different guys for different situations. Some guys... That, that's why I will never in my life be a nigga that you ain't fucking. 
Promise you that. I'm going to be the only nigga that you just fucking. That's it. I'd rather just be the nigga that you fucking. Yo, but she really do got like, like all of these niggas. And I guarantee she got a food. Guys, I just want to go. with attention. I forgot that I'm recording this. <laughs> Some guys, you just want to what? <laughs> There's different purposes for different tools. I ain't never going to be no favorite eater, none. One's a shovel, one's a knife, one's a fork. Yeah, honestly, the one that I'm fucking, never going to get in a relationship with him. He doesn't have a job. I told y'all, that's the nigga I need to be. Job, finances, none of that. Do you need some money? Y'all see what I mean? Dak one Wilcher Jimmy see what I mean? Smacks said the same thing. No cap. Cap. Got to have some bread with you. Yeah, nah. Yo, that's what I'm saying. If you go to Miami, you got to have that bag. You can't just go to Miami thinking that you finna bag bitches and you broke. That's not how it worked there, bro. You don't go to Miami and then you gonna have all of these bags. And then you go to the clubs and shit. You didn't ease normal places. Nah, man. Look, when I was there with Fresh, Fresh had me out there, bro. And like I said, we was in sections and shit like that. You don't want to go there and be a nigga that's just in the mix. Nah, you need your own section where you up somewhere, where you buy yourself to. Because you got to think about it. Who do you think that you notice when you walk in the club? Do you notice the niggas in the sections or you notice the motherfuckers all with everybody else? You don't notice the niggas in the mix. You notice the motherfuckers inside, it's inside those, inside the sections. My nigga Scotty with the raid. Yo, Fly Guy GBG with the raid. DSG, W's in the chat for my nigga. My nigga uh, Fly Guy GBG. My nigga Scotty, bro. With his little ugly ass W raid in the chat, DSG. Thank you, Scotty, for that raid. Appreciate you, my nigga. Thank you. But yeah, nah, when you go to Miami, though, you definitely want to have some money. Even Icy can tell you that. Icy, tell these motherfuckers. If my nigga King Nanto said he want to go uh, clubbing in Miami, Icy, tell him. He, he got to have that bag. You got to go there or either go there with some people who got some money. Go there with people who got access. You know what I'm saying? Demir said, how much is a section? How am I supposed to know? I ain't to pay for it. <laughs> Shit. So why even open yourself up to a guy like that? Great dick. Gay. Deal. Ain't nothing I'm gay. Buy some fake Fuji, Juan Vuitton, and wear that Berkasi cologne. No, 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 no. Now, I see. I was, I was being real uh, frugal with my money at first when I first got there. The, the first time I went to Miami. The second time, I think I spent like 3000 the first night. I was tripping. I was definitely tripping. But yeah, 3000 and 10000 for a section, I would never in my life do that. King Nine tells, Miami is not the place that you want to go to with fake designer, bro. Look, fake jewelry is something different, right? But even they may notice the fake jewelry. But look, if you wear subtle shit, people don't call you out for it. Shit that ain't loud. Shit that doesn't scream out, yo, look at me. Say, for instance. If you go there with a bracelet and the shit ain't real, if it's gold or silver, you straight. Let's yeah. start white gold. Vlad Place, thank you for another gift in my nigga as always, bro. Thank you. But yeah, you go there with like a, a fake silver or, or a white gold bracelet or something like that or gold. Ah, right, you straight as long as it's just a regular little bracelet. Nobody looking at that. If you got diamonds and shit all in and this is big ass Cuban, nah, everybody gonna call you off for that. If you go there, like say for instance, if my if my chain with the cross was fake. If I were there in Miami, I ain't got to worry about anybody trying to call me out for it. Icy, you tell me. You know the, you know the cross that I be wearing, Icy. If anybody going to call me out for that in Miami. No. If I go there with a big-ass Cuban, you know what I'm saying, that say DSG and this shit fake, people going to be like, hold on, bro. Let me inspect, let me inspect that real quick. Let, let me pull out this diamond tester. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah, if you wear subtle jewelry, you'll be fine. But if you wear shit that screams, yo, is it real? Yeah, people gonna test you. Key Skin Queso said a lot of niggas be rocking, rocking moist tonight in Miami. Oh, yeah, don't get it twisted. You got me fucked up. If you think I'm finna buy all of this real jewelry, all of this expensive-ass real jewelry, for what? I ain't got no reason to buy expensive-ass jewelry. You got me fucked up if you think I ain't finna buy moist tonight jewelry. I don't live in Miami. I'm gonna go there. Oh, you damn right. Fresh, shout out to Fresh with the bust-down Rolex. Fresh, if you want my nigga, I'd have robbed you. Yo, suck down. Fresh, my nigga. Yo, no bullshit, though. You got me fucked up if you think I'm finna bust down a fucking Rolex for forty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. No, I'm gonna bust that shit down on Moist tonight, nigga. The fuck? What is the purpose? I live in Fredericksburg, Virginia. You think bitches over there, like, yo, um, yo, oh, oh, look at his watch, it's real. No, bitches gonna look at this shit and like, yo, they gonna think it's real. Moist tonight is literally made to shine. Why would I not do that? Bro, I was just listening to a nigga even talk about this shit. He said straight up, yo, look, Fresh ain't no walking lick, Mr. Straight to the Bag. No, he ain't. Ain't no easy lick. Nah, no, he ain't. Don't even play like that, bro. That's still my nigga, man. You know, Fresh ain't no easy lick. But nah, what's the point? If I go, if, if I'm around Fredericksburg, Virginia, I could walk around moist tonight. Who the fuck gonna question it? There's no reason to question it. 
Who around here has real jewelry? Nobody. The fuck? But yeah, I ain't finna do that. There's no point in me doing that. The fuck I look like sitting there walking around with a $30,000 watch on? I don't need to spend no $30,000 on no jewelry. What's your age? God I, damn, she tall. I am 24. And how tall are you? I'm six foot two. And in heels? I'm in heels, hell yeah. Why not? But in heels, how tall are you? Six four. God! Really? Six, okay. six, well. That's a huge bitch! Yeah, six four. Okay. So, is six dating four. easy as a tall girl? No, it's incredible because you weed out all of the men that you don't even want to talk to in the first place. How do you go about doing that? You just walk into a bar and they're all below you and they immediately leave you alone. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> they're below you because they're shorter than you. Uh huh. So they're below you because of that. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty lonely life to me. No, it's thank, great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad he called out for that. It's been wonderful. No complaints. So do you end up approaching guys more or? No. Okay. I feel like you, you're when you're in like a certain level, you lock eyes above all the other heads. Uh -huh. Yeah. Man, lock eyes with Captain Levi, you tall ass bitch. So, okay, okay, okay. All right. You lock eyes with all the I'm other heads. I'm from Minnesota, so we have a lot of tall guys okay. in Minnesota. Yeah. I ain't never been to Minnesota. So why do, so why do so many men get intimidated by tall women? I mean, I love a short king, not personally, but I love that for them. I feel like it's an intimidation thing because they have short man syndrome. So it's like, oh, she's taller, like, fuck her. And that's, <laughs> and that's what short man syndrome is. Yeah, short man syndrome is when you feel insecure because you're shorter than a woman. Okay. Short man what? Okay. No. All right. But how tall do you want your guy to be, ideally? Oh, my boyfriend, love of my life, he is six foot four. That's perfect for me. Okay. So you and him would be the same height now since you're in heels? Probably pretty close, but he has better posture than I do, so he'd still probably be a little bit taller. And how long have you been together? Five years. What's your age? 33. Are you single? Yes. Why do you think that is? I broke up with my ex-boyfriend who... Okay, she's stupid. That's what it is. She's slow. Wanted to marry me. Like, oh, she's drunk as hell. Because there was a power struggle in our relationship, and I wanted she's him to dominate me. Because I don't want to be the leader, but I was leader. So, I don't like that. so why didn't you just submit to it? Dominated. Because I didn't feel safe with him. If he made me feel safe, I would have naturally submitted, and we'd be amazing. So, what were some of the things that he did that made you feel like you were the one leading? He couldn't make fast decisions, and I, I can make faster decisions. Give me an example. I mean, everything we did. He, like, he was going to get his real estate license. He couldn't even pick the man. date for the test. This, that's why I do not like being around super drunk girls. This shit sounds so unattractive. Like, I'm sorry, I have two real estate licenses. I can pick dates for tests. Like, and how long were you with him? Officially a year, but he had been in my life for multiple years. And you don't see that as a red flag, you being 33, having a man want to propose to you that you've been with for so long, and then just cutting him off and going back into the world? Um, so this is the thing. He was on a reality TV show. I thought he was really hot. I didn't, I assumed he was like a natural leader based on the show he was on. So I slid into his DMs and he responded and he was like, come to Hawaii. So I did. So everything was great when you're just like going on. S slid into DMs and said, come to Hawaii. Vacations with someone and I. Bruh, now, now y'all see what I meant, right? Now, this ain't no bad bitch to me personally. But y'all see what I meant when I told y'all niggas, bro, whenever I see a bad bitch, I she'll, she'll make me think that, yo, I mean, she is, she inspires me, motivates me to want to get some more money because I already know there's niggas in your DM saying shit like this. So what the fuck you look like wanting to just be with a boring ass nigga that just be going to work and taking care of his kids and, and working out all the time? You feel me? That's what make me want to sit there and get more money, more and more money so I can be like, yo, look, by the time I'm done working on all of this shit and getting all of this, my shit out the way, I'm going to be able to just do what I need to do for you. Not even giving no, no motherfucking money. But I know when I come to you, I'm going to come with that shit so you know that, you know what I'm saying, you're going to be interested in a nigga like me. I thought. My nigga right there. <laughs> That's a real nigga right there, bro. He was a leader Shout based my nigga on right the show there. I saw him on. But then as I started to get to know him, I realized, like, 
I can make better decisions. So my whole thing is do not get caught up on TV shows or social media and think someone's cool just because they like have a certain status because it's all fake. That's now realizing that. All right, ladies, do you consent to the record? It, it, it might, it might got a little smell to it. But and distribution of this on my socials? Yes. Yeah. Here, take one step right there. No, you stay where you are. Just get tight. You see that motherfucker jiggling every time she moves? Okay, here we go. So, um, what's your age? <laughs> 26. Yeah! 26. Has dating gotten easier as you gotten older? Like yeah! Yes. Depends. Well, why do you feel that way? I think because as you get older, you start to know what you want or what you're looking for. As opposed to when you're young, you kind of just date whoever. You feel like you have higher standards? Yeah, I think it comes with age. Okay. And what does it depend on for you? Um, well, I agree with everything that she said, but yeah, just in general, I feel like people are not ready for commitment and to put in the work, you know, so it's harder to find. Yup, I keep looking at the feet, my bad. Like someone that's genuine. And that's been your experience most of the time. 100%. So the honor someone who's genuine. These two make me want to get more money and am at 125k RM. So Earthbound Remy. You had, you had, um, excuse me, you, you had, um, <clears throat> what? Because, uh, I'm at about, I need about three for that. That's it. That's all the nigga was about to ask you for. Nigga wasn't about to ask you for nothing else. You know, you know what I'm saying? Nigga wasn't going to ask you for but so much. But, but if you had 125, let, let a nigga, let a nigga owe about 350 to about next week. You, but just until next Thursday, you feel what I'm saying? Not, not too long. Guys that you feel are never ready to commit to you, not are these long. men that you already sleep with? I'm not talking to anyone. <laughs> I'm done. Talking. The ones in the past. Who you sleeping what with? What about them? Yeah. Are the, have you slept with them before? Yeah. Okay. That was obvious. Do you think that that played a part in why they didn't commit to you? Um, I don't know. Hey, for everybody here, though, for all y'all niggas that's thinking about going to Miami, have y'all seen these cars that keep going past? Do y'all see all of these crazy-ass cars? I don't think that... Some of them? That should what play up, Bam a part Well, why would a man so get... King Nod tells, when you go to Miami, you might want to have that bread right. Just remember that. I'm trying though. to get between them titties. Trying to get between them cheeks. Fuck you talk about, bro. But what? Give you the benefits of the relationship. But I see the titties, though. If he's already experienced everything that you have to offer. Because he wants to be with me, genuinely. I told you, I'm not for the slim girls. Like, that super slim shit, that ain't me. That's y'all. Where's the end? That's more my speed right there, because got I got something to work with right there. My nigga MMA fan, my motherfucking nigga said, with the 32 months, bro. Nigga said, damn, 32 uh, crazy ass months up in here. Big B's, you already know it, bro. Shout out my nigga MMA fan. Thank you. You already know how I've been going around here. But in the past, those men... What do you think that they wanted and all that it sent? Jarvis Kidd said, I'm from Miami. Um, I'm from Miami. They've uh, they, they been stunting um, they been stunting for forever. Uh, shit really uh, mini LA. Nah, shit is just Miami, bro. Yeah. Can you repeat there. the question? <laughs> <laughs> this is hard to keep up with. <laughs> Let me make sure this is okay. It's on 1080. All right. Just making sure. Yo, nigga. Nigga, got to, got to run that back. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. I see you. 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 All right. All right. Do you need some money? Thin or thick, they getting dyke. You got me, okay? Am they, I tripping or do one of the dick. shorties look like a dominatrix? Dick. She do. Yeah, she do. Yes, Blossom, really, yes. Do you need it's some money? Theater. You know it's how this goes. It's left for me, I'm wearing them thighs around my face like a ski mask. But she wouldn't let you because I'm right here. More gas. I'm <laughs> right here. <laughs> but those men in the past, what do you think? Keith, you was uh, raised in uh, Fort Lauderdale, but you know I was in, uh, in, in motherfucking Florida then. That they wanted, knowing that it's ended now. Yeah. Like I said, no commitment, no work. Does your boyfriend let you have guy friends? 
I mean, we're in the same friend group. Like, these are all my friends, and they're all his friends, too. So. But you don't have any other guy friends outside of that? Not really. I used to, but we all drifted after high school. Okay. How do you think you would feel if you met a new guy and he wanted to hang out with you? <laughs> As friends. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I was about but why to not? Say. No, I, I feel like it's a fuck song. Oh, I'm my beating God. those cheeks like a Cherokee drum. Oh my lord. We have to stop being so horny. Like we are like we are dangerously horny, bro, over here. We we gotta learn to chill. Respectful. Because um, I think that girls and guys can't just be friends. Ooh, I, I think they can. I be peeling them fours and fives. The average eights oh be God. the fours and fives in Miami compared to the women. I think I got this. They they need some Miami, yeah, they, they go crazy over there. short kings. That's mine. Nigga, bro, I, nigga, I'm I'm five eleven and a half with no shoes on, bro. Nigga, come on, bro. DSG, I'm actually going to make a video, since y'all niggas love saying I'm short, I'm going to make a video asking random people whenever I go out places, I'm going to ask random people in general how tall they think I am. I'm going to start a series, of, just for y'all niggas, I'm going to start a series of asking random people how tall they think I am, just for y'all niggas, bro. That's my opinion. Okay, why do you feel that Scarface, way? Scarface, I already tell everybody I'm six foot, but they always say, no, you file them. Because guys are... Yo, Cardanus, I have, I'm going to always count that, that half, because y'all niggas love saying the niggas short. I'm always count that half. Sexual people, like creatures, sexual creatures. So I feel like girls and guys can't just be friends. A woman could be sexual too. Yes, but well, the women I've grown up with are more, they respect themselves. So they wouldn't just go up to a guy and like, you know, let it out. Okay. So you never hang out with a guy who you knew wanted more than just friends with you? No. How do you feel about him it's having right girlfriends? Thing. My friends can be his friends. I mean, and if there's a, like a girl introduced, I, I'll meet him. I'll meet her. And if I don't like her, then no. Then no. That was a good video. Yo, shout out to the undesirable truth. I mean, to the desirable truth. That was a good video, but it made me hate girls. Like, it made me hate y'all. Like, I understand why them niggas be... Uh, the, the, in that whole group over there, the, the the neon group, I understand why they be over there. Like, okay, yeah, um, you know, I kind of, I kind of hate women, cause like after listening to that, it, it it definitely turned me into more of a misogynist. Yep, I, I yep, I, I kind of hate you, bitches. Like right after that, I I kind of I kind of do. Did you say I, no? I haven't. Icy, I haven't been watching any streams whatsoever. And if I'm off stream, I've been just, I don't watch, well, you know, I don't be watching streams like that at all. But if I'm off stream, I haven't been watching anything, any content. I'm trying my hardest to limit, limit myself on content in general. I don't want to watch too much content now. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's like, can, unless it's inspiring more content, like inspiring me and motivating me to produce more content. If not, I'm good on it. You know what I'm saying? Someone got tased. Oh, now nah, I got to see that. Then. I see. I'm definitely going to see that. I'm definitely going to see that. Uh, you at a different gym, Mr. Straight to the Bag. I'm at whatever gym I'm at, bro. But shout out to the Desirable Truth for that video, man. 